Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to be doing a shelf tour of my shelves. Um, I absolutely love watching these videos on YouTube. Like these in photo card collecting videos are some of my favorite videos to watch. And I honestly just wanted to document my growth so I'm going to be doing a shelf tour. This is probably going to be an annual thing unless there's like a super huge change or I don't know. And then maybe do it twice a year. Um, but I just reorganized my shelves yesterday and I decided that I wanted to film a video. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be going over my two K-pop shelves. Um, these shelves are from Target. You can get them right now. They're like... I think like their intended purpose is for dorms for college. So Target has them right now. They're 40 bucks. I've had this one for like three years and I have never had a problem with it. It's not the greatest quality, but I've had it for three years and I have, I've never had an issue with it. So yeah, they're pretty cheap compared to some of the shelves out there. Um, so if you're looking for a shelf, they're at Target right now for 40 bucks. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into my shelves. So at the top up here, I just have random, like I'm used to just having one shelf. I just put this new one in yesterday. So I don't know what to do with space because I now have space. So I just have some extra albums up at the top, my Polaroid, some snow globes. I've had this thing since I was a baby and then my change container. I don't know what to do with it. It will eventually be K-pop stuff. But as of right now, this is this is what we're working with. So the top shelves are BTS. They need two shelves. They're going to need three <laughs> once all of the solos and things come out. But for right now, this is this is what we're working with. Um, if you are new, and this is your first video with me, for each of the groups, I'll let you know who my bias is and my record and stuff. Just... I don't know because <laughs> it's fun if you can't tell my bias is Jimin um and if you're new you would probably say oh her wrecker must be Tay <laughs> my wrecker is actually Yoongi but I don't <laughs> they're all my wreckers but Tay's Funko Pops um are just so cute so I did collect Tay and Jimin but Jimin is my ultimate bias out of all of K-pop he was my first bias ever and he's just very special to me so yes um, so this is the albums that I have for BTS. I do not have all of their albums. Um, I am definitely more of a photo card collector and like a collect the albums later type of person, as you will probably see once I get down to like ATs and Stray Kids. Um, but yeah, this is what I have so far. I did, I do have my proof album right here just because I wanted to display it. Um... So yeah, it's not in like perfect order, but it's just how it worked. And I have the solo stuff on this side. So yeah, that is my BTS shelf. And then moving down to TXT. TXT was definitely the second group that I got into um, after BTS. And my bias is Yeonjun and my wrecker is Bomgyu, but also Terry, oh my god, I just, they all, I, I love, I love every single one of these groups with, like, my whole heart. So, it's hard to, like, it's hard to be a collector, it's hard to be a multi-stand because you want to collect everything from everyone, but you just can't because money <laughs> and space. But, yes, I do love all of these groups so much. Anyways, this is my TXT collection. I do have all of their Korean discography and I do have most of their Japanese discography. I'm missing the um, most recent, but I will get that eventually. Um, but yeah, I'm not really going to show you or point out every little thing because you guys have eyes and you can see. But Yeonjun's obviously my bias. I have his signed postcard. I do also have a signed um, Taeyeon, um, but it's in my binder just because I didn't have like a tennis base to display every single thing. But yeah, that is TXT shelf that will definitely grow in the future. <laughs> then we have 17. I didn't get into 17 until 
last year. Um, so this is still a new growing collection, but they're in no particular order. This is kind of just how I put it on the shelf and I kept it. But this album cover is like my absolute favorite. I think it's so cute. So I definitely wanted this to be like the focal point. And then I do have my signed S. Coops postcard thing. I also have a Hoshi and a Vernon and a V8 postcard, but those are in my binder. Um, for 17, my bias, I have three. My like main main bias from 17 is S Coops and then I also bias Dino and Sun Quan and then the rest of them are my record <laughs> depends on the day um okay so then we go down to the AT shelf sorry I'm trying not to shake but I am a shaky person so I will do my best to keep the camera steady um my AT shelf is definitely a shelf that needs to grow already because I have I think four signed albums that are just not on display because I just don't have the room. But this is my AT shelf. Um, AT's is one of those groups that um, I do not have a lot of their like physical albums, but like I collect Woo Young. Woo, Young. Woo Young's my bias. He's literally, <laughs> his binder's right here. And I have almost all of his photo cards. I definitely prioritize collecting photo cards before buying their albums because I like to buy their albums like secondhand from people on like Mercari that have extras and are selling them with no photo cards for like five dollars because I already have the photo cards that I need so it just makes more sense for me so that's why I'm not in like a huge hurry to get the albums but anyways that was very long-winded this is <laughs> This is what I have so far. So I just have a signed Sungwa. I actually have two. So the other one's there somewhere back there. Oh, I think it's behind that Woo Young. It is. I have a signed Mingi and a signed Woo Young. I also have two signed Yunos. And I think that's it. But Woo Young's my bias and Mingi is my wrecker. But this is what I have so far. These are the older albums that I got before they like went out of print and now everybody's selling them for a insane amount of money. But yeah, that is my AT shelf. And then we come over here, I'm just gonna kneel down to my Psychers shelf. Psychers literally debuted this year and they are already my second ults. They are obviously BTS is my ult group. Psychers is number two already, which is absolutely insane to me. So that's why I gave them a whole shelf, um, even though I probably could have put them in with someone else. But I just, I wanted to give them a whole shelf because I love this group so much. Um, and yeah, so I have their debut album. Those are actually all signed on the inside. I have a Junmin, who is my bias, a Hunter and a Yechan, and then their platform versions and then for their newest album, I have a signed Junmin. Again, he's my bias, so he's front and center. And then I have a Sumin, who he is my wrecker along with Minjay. And then this one is a Hyunu, and then this one is a Yujun. So these ones I pulled randomly, and then these two I actually went to a pop-up in San Francisco at Sarong Hello, and I got to like pick who I was buying so yeah they were out of Minjay otherwise I would have gotten a Minjay but yeah that's my Psychers shelf which I absolutely love obviously because I adore Psychers I think they are going to be just huge and if you have not listened to them shameless plug please go listen to them they are just the best so yes that is my Psyker shelf and then we are going to come down here let me all right, this is as good as it's gonna get. So over here in the corner, I have my um, Jungkook, Jimin, and Tay photo books right there. Um, they just did not fit anywhere else, so that's where they live. And then next to them, I have TNX's newest album. This is kind of my miscellaneous shelf. Um, next to that, I have in Hypen uh, some more T TNX albums. And then I have my Extinary Heroes uh, Gowan signed uh, Overload album because it just didn't fit on my Extinary Heroes shelf. And then behind here, I actually have um, like Enhypen's TNX's like smaller 
albums, like the engine version and things, but for right now, this is how it worked. And then I have my first three King Daniel albums and then BTS's Daikon photo book thing. So this is definitely my like miscellaneous shelf. It's obviously going to change as comebacks happen and things, but it is what it is for right now. <laughs> and then we come right here. This is gonna definitely be the shelf that changes the most uh probably quickly because i have my stray kids and i have my extraordinary heroes and like i said this should be here but i wanted to display everything and i can't display everything it just wouldn't fit so stray kids will definitely have their own shelf at some point but this is what i meant with i definitely prioritize photo cards more than albums because han is my bias from stray kids he is a baby old bias i have so many baby olds they all just need <laughs> jimin is my old of old of olds junmin is a baby old and han is also a baby old so i have han's album cards completely completed but these are the only albums i have like i said i prioritize buying the photo cards and then i can just buy the albums like second hand later so that's what i've been doing um, I started seriously collecting Stray Kids uh, during Ordinary Era, so I do have their discography for that. Um, I did find, I don't know how it happened, this limited Go Live, which I know is so expensive. Someone was selling it for 10 bucks on Mercari. Um, it obviously didn't come with like the photo cards, but I didn't need the photo cards because I already bought those separately. So it was I was got very lucky buying that, and then I just randomly bought this album like last year or something so yes anyways so that was very long-winded those are my Stray Kids albums I do have a Han signed postcard and then a Han signed photo card and then just like a little bracelet that says Han Sung. and then my light stick the version one I still need to get version two but not a super huge priority at the moment and then I have the rest of my Extinary Heroes. Um, I have their debut albums right here. Um, I only have this version of Overload just because I genuinely cannot stand the size and the shape that they are. So I don't think I will be getting the other three versions. Maybe eventually down the road. But as of right now, I just I cannot stand the size and shape that they are. So that one's obviously signed. So I'm not gonna get rid of it but I don't I'm not like necessarily gonna collect the other three but for deadlock I do have three this shape is great uh Jungsoo's my bias so I have him on display this one's also signed it's a Juyun, and then this one is an ode um but I just don't have the room to display all of them so yeah oh my gosh I didn't tell you got my bias and bias records from things so tnx my bias is uh june hook and then i don't know who my wrecker is honestly and hype in my bias is nikki and my wrecker is sung hoon and then um king daniel my bias is king daniel <laughs> he's a soloist so yeah i think that's the only ones that i didn't tell you about uh stray kids my bias is obviously if you can't tell my bias is han and my wreckers are uh chungbin and chan so yeah, and then at the bottom, I just have my old purse and my nursing school books that I'm currently using because I do not know what to do with the space that I have. Sorry, I'm standing up. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do definitely have room to grow because I have these two shelves down here. But as of right now, I do like how it looks but there will definitely be changes for sure so yeah um those are my shelves let me know if you want to see a photo card uh collection I do have sneak peek this binder literally just lives on my desk because I go into this binder a lot this is my Wu Young and Junmin binder um but yeah, I probably will be doing a photo card collection again, like not necessarily for like the views or anything, but just to like be able to go back and see how far I've come myself in years to come. But yes. Oh, also, if you're still here, let me know how you guys 
um, protect your signed albums. Like, let me know. I know there's, like, sleeves and stuff, but if you guys could, like, let me know which ones you get because I genuinely don't understand how people, like, are finding sleeves to cover albums like this or like that. <laughs> Like, I don't understand how you guys are doing it. So if you have a recommendation for sleeves to cover your signed albums, please let me know. And yeah, anyways, that was kind of all over the place. And I'm sorry if it was super shaky. I'm literally holding you guys with just my hands and it's my phone. So I did my best. I hope I didn't make you like super nauseous or anything. But yeah. Those are my shelves. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to make this like a semi-annual or an annual thing and let me know if you want to see a photo card collection. I would love to do it. I definitely have more photo cards than I have albums. So yes, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.